Well, it is Thursday, and that means we have a vet on hand to answer your pet questions. We have Dr. Stephanie Bradley here Hello. today, and Rosie, who's oh, so sweet. Look at her face. She is adorable. You know, Dr. Joe's not here today. You're filling yep. in for him. So tell us a little bit about Rosie. She is available for adoption. Yes, through Animal Aid, and she is just the sweetest thing. She's got... Um, Great personality, really quiet and laid back, but yet she's really playful. She loves other dogs, plays great with them. How old is she? Um, she's about five. about five, and she had a broken leg. She was found by somebody, and actually this oh. little leg was broken, and then this one is, is more crooked. We, the broken one is actually a little straighter than the crooked one, but oh. I don't know if she had an old injury, but she doesn't let it slow her down. She's great and really, really sweet Look at girl. those ears. You know. She's so cute, and she knows her name, too. Yeah. I, as soon as I said it, she's like, oh, hi. Rosie. Love attention, don't you? Oh, well, we're glad to have Rosie here today. So we have some questions okay. for you today, Dr. Bradley. We have a question from Stephanie, and she says, We have been using canine Advantix, but our dogs are still getting fleas. Do you recommend anything else? Well, um, there's a lot of good products. I really like Advantix. It's one of my favorites. But um, I always tell people, if one's not working for you, you can try another one. But the main you know, part of getting rid of fleas is treating the environment. So you use Advantix every month and make sure you have someone or you can get some products to treat your house because probably 95% of your problem is going to be with the flea eggs and the flea larva. And so okay. if you don't treat that, then you're not going to get rid of the problem. And same with your yard. So you know, just keep religious on whatever you decide to use every month and then treat your environment and you should... You should see some progress. So really, if you have fleas already and you've had them for a while, the Advantix isn't going to get rid of the whole population. No, it is just going to kill, and it, it really does work well, and it'll kill the adults and the dog, but it, you know, if more jump on them, it takes a little time for them to die, so All right. it'll, it'll work. Well, here's our next question. Sarah says, I have a, a four-year-old Boston Terrier, and right now she feels she has to lick everything, like furniture, couch pillows, blankets. Is this something I should be concerned about? Um, you know, it's... It could just be habit. Some some animals kind of get obsessive compulsive habits, so it's nothing. If it's like that to be really concerned about, just try to distract her. I have had dogs who do that, who actually have ended up with big hairballs from like the bathroom floor. Ooh. So yeah, it could it could lead to problems, but usually it's just more of a, a nuisance. And sometimes it can be an indication that they have an allergy that will cause them to kind of lick their feet and lick the floor. So. Um, I don't know if she's itchy at all, but if she's real itchy and her skin is pink, then you might, you know, think about allergies. Um, just try to distract her so it doesn't lead to anything bad. Yeah, so just something to keep your eye on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank okay. you so much, Dr. You're Bradley. Welcome. And if you are interested in, do in adopting Sweet Rosie, you can call the Adoption Center, 918-794-6688.